There's the corporate debt bubble. And if you look at triple B corporate debt issuance in the US, it's gone from 5 to 15% of GDP in 10 years. So if you think about it, if that's all going into economic activity directly or indirectly, that's 1% of GDP per annum. That's quite a lot. Uh, add on the leverage low market, that's, that's one thing. You can talk about the zombies. You know, there's clearly a lot of zombies out there living off cheap money. So you take that away, you, you pressurize those. Um, and, and, you know, there's the, what, what, what's been labeled the everything bubble. So, you know, asset prices are very expensive. My favorite is, is what I call the WeWork bubble, uh, which is sort of, which is really a, a, a lovely name for the private equity bubble. Uh, really, I think financial repression over the last 10 years has put, pushed tons of money into private equity. And you get, um, uh, you know, there's over 300 unicorns out there valued at a billion or more, uh, which is startups in the last 10 years. And they're, they're, they're based off cheap money, and that's where the money's gone. The financial repression, it's, it's come out of a bunch of public markets, it's gone into private markets, it's pushed up the valuation of these private equity firms. So that, that's, those are risks, and those are things to worry about.